Hi guys and welcome to yet another video. As you guys can see, we're in the car. Hi. Um, we're doing a little weekend vlog. It's a Saturday today and right now we're on our way to do a little bit of grocery shopping. I literally had the whole morning planned out, the whole video planned out for this morning, but it's raining and it's just, I don't know if I'm the only one. When it starts raining, you just feel like lazy and you just want to sit in bed and do nothing and be cozed up in the bed and have some coffee so i really didn't do much of what i was planning to do for the beginning of this vlog but it's okay things work out we we're just talking now saying that because we have solar and it seems like it's going to be raining for about two to three days and it's going to be cloudy like this we're not going to have much solar so we were just saying that we're just going to buy some meat for maybe today and tomorrow huh oh for today and tomorrow because tomorrow we're going to church anyway we're going to be in midran side so we might just depending on how the weather is we might just buy for the the whole week yeah but we haven't decided but we're just going to buy meat for today and some vegetables and some fruits. There's a paramedic that just went into the hiking trip. A paramedic? Yeah. Oh, damn. We're going to Yasmin right now. You guys know the deal. Always going to Yasmin. It's our number one place for um, one vegetables place. and fruits. Even though, like, on our community group, a lot of people were actually complaining saying a lot of the fruits and stuff like that like you buy them they look okay and then once you open the packet it's like spoiled and stuff which is kind of triggering because last week we bought grapes from them yeah and that's one thing i have to say when it comes to like grapes and like small fruits you should be able to see through like the like the packaging that we normally buy yeah the see-through packs the smaller ones yeah those are the ones that are okay to buy but the box ones at Yasmin, it's the second time it happened. Yep. And Where some we, of the stuff was off inside. Like they were rotting. Like off. Yeah. The grapes were turning into raisins, you guys. Little that's how raisins. that's how you know it's been chilling for quite some time. So I guess now we just know that we just need to look out for that type of stuff because guys the prices are really good. Okay. And it's just, you know, it just happens that some stuff are not as fresh but we'll definitely just be on a lookout for that when we're doing our shopping and yeah we're gonna go to pick and pay okay either pick and pay checkers whichever one okay yeah just to get a little bit of extra stuff <laughs> I'm planning to downsize, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 
Welcome to a new day. Um, what? People are gonna see me. Just quickly stopped at Pick and Pay to just get a few things that we couldn't get yesterday. Service was amazing. So this is always nice for the spirits. It feels like, I don't know, man. Presence of the Lord. Yeah, like being at church, like I feel like praising the Lord and worshiping it at home, you know, feeling your spirit at home is as important. Um, but like when you at church and- Yeah, church is there for a reason. Yeah, it just feels different. You like a different type of energy to just like boost you for the week. But, Anyway, yeah, we stopped at Pick and Pay and we literally saw this testic rice cake thing. And I was just like, you know what? We saw La Cizue trying it out. So I guess we're going to try it out too, guys. We're going to try it out too. We got the Miss Ball Chutney. This is how they look. They don't look that bad. I'm going to try one. I'm going to try first. Yeah. Like you'll tell me. It sounds like rice cakes. Oh, and I don't like rice cakes. Yeah. How's it? Okay. Yeah. But it's Let me not try it. Like, well, it's not anything to call home about. It's like a flavored rice cake. I like it. And Ari likes this thing. I don't know. No. No, thank you. Now, can you guys see it? Focus. Well, I'll cut it off, bro. <laughs> you guys saw this morning the rabbit. <laughs> and I got to show you guys and actually get it on camera. That rabbit, you guys, came, I'm sure, like last week. And I've literally. I've literally been trying to like feed it well I've been feeding it every single day and like now we have a rabbit on the farm that's just running around freely it lives under one of the sheds mm. and we've been trying to catch it you guys because we want to put it in a place where it could be safe you know and you guys know Maka. Maka is a dashunt and they are meant to that's kill <laughs> rabbits and you should see like i don't know if i can try find that video of maka when um but he saw a rabbit oh. but like he <laughs> literally tenses up and like if he ever sees it like he's going to get it yeah and jared tried catching it the other day and it's not it's, it's fast but it's but not it's, that fast it's not fast for maka no because it's still a baby so we need to catch it somehow and Yo. And try get it into a safe place so Maka can never get it. But yeah, it's a baby. It's black. It's super cute. I've been feeding it carrots, apples. Just trying to keep it around. Yeah. I don't know because it's funny because Jared and I were like talking a few months back. We're like, oh, you know, a, a rabbit. Rabbits would be very cute on the farm. Maybe we should think about getting rabbits. And then boom, there's a rabbit on the farm. Like, <laughs> how? Like, God cannot work like that, guys. Like, does God really work like that? Where you, like, talk about things and then, boom, next thing, it's in your yard. Like, it's yours. Like, yes, it's crazy. I want but... the urus. <laughs> uh, I would love an urus on the farm. <laughs> and then, boom. Yeah. Yeah. And then, I guess, we'll come back when we're at home, probably ready to cook. And, yeah. Unless something else happens. Unless we get, like, a, like a, like a horse or something. You know what I'm saying? Right now, yeah. Next thing you know, we're gonna have a horse. A free horse. Yeah, but that tail is long here. You can literally clip long. it off. But yeah, we'll see you guys when we get back home.
Hi guys, so I just finished editing this video and I realized that I didn't close it off after we made dinner yesterday. So I just thought, you know what? Let me just do my hair Ooh. while I speak to you guys and close off this video so it's ready to upload today. Um, I'm just doing my hair. I swear you guys, like I don't know what my plan is with my hair. It's just stressing me out because I want to do dreads but I want to do micro dreads and you know it's just there's no place like sister sent me a place on instagram and literally for them to start off the dreads it's literally three thousand and i was like what is this like three thousand just to start off micro grit micro locks and i'm just like i know like micro locks are tiny and it takes time and and all of these things but three thousand rand no never so i don't know i'm just trying to figure out like what i'm gonna do with it and i guess for now till i'm figuring that out i'm just going to just keep it as it is until i try to figure out like what i'm going to do i swear the keys make so much noise guys sorry i use like even conditioner and water and then i just it. My hair loves leave-in conditioner and it loves water, so I literally drench in this first. Then I use um, coconut oil just to lock all the moisture in. Um, yesterday's dinner was amazing. As you guys saw, we literally spent our whole night in bed. I mean the rest of the evening in bed and just chilling and yeah, having a good time. I'm so proud of myself. I've literally been shooting and editing and trying to be consistent for you guys. So definitely like our videos, comment, subscribe, you know, all of that really helps with continuing this vlog. I mean, this channel and just motivates us to just keep going. And also it just lets us know that you guys are liking the content that we are putting out. I also realized for the last vlog that we posted, um, the Get Ready With Me when I was going to church, I didn't really tell you guys my feedback and how I felt after the whole situation. Guys, when I say it was, I had the time of my life. I thought I would be like scared because literally we were in front of the whole congregation. But I had such a good time, like I even almost got emotional and almost cried up there but I really had to like stop myself and just remind myself that just take it all in, you're having a good time and it just made me super emotional. I literally had to stop myself from crying so many times while I was up there. But yeah, I had such a good time, like you I don't know, it was just fun, it was just another special moment that if I did not push myself to do, I wouldn't have experienced it. So I'm just looking forward to do more, just doing more for the church and, and the whole choir situation and just seeing where that goes, you know? But yeah, I wanted to show you guys the little situation. Um, after doing the plant tour video, I literally switched up all my plants and put them all in one corner. And I think it looks so cute. I think it looks so cute. I'll show you guys and then yeah, I'll close up this video. But yeah, guys, like I said, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and like do all of that stuff because yeah, it's, it's really motivating. It's really nice speaking to you guys on the comments. I really enjoy it. So definitely do that. Do that okay so let me show you guys my little plant corner before i close this video off let me know what you guys think i think it's looking very nice i think it's very cute because of the placement the plants have enough sunlight you know let me know what you guys think so there's the plants over here i've placed some plants on the shelf and here you know i just thought it's a better placement because you know it's in the corner everything just looks like a jungle it looks pretty you know 
I don't know. What do you guys think? Well, I must just place them around the house again. And some of them are here as well. I don't know. I'm liking it for now. Things are forever changing. I always feel like moving things around every now and again, depending on how I feel. So I don't know. It might just change. That's it for the video. Thank you guys for watching. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.